Streams over on Kick have been absolute dog shit. Not only are we getting people getting head on stream, but we're also seeing people like Aiden Ross who are actually telling their fans to go do these over the top dares that lead them to get money and that leads Aiden Ross to get more viewers over on Kick and on his live stream. Now, if you told me that Aiden Ross from 2020 and 2021 would end 2022 as part of the Red Pill Mafia, I really wouldn't believe you. During 2020 and 2021, Aiden Ross really got big off of live streaming on Twitch and how he'd act around his friends. Usually during his streams, he'd do some questionable things that would make people ask if he was, I guess, gay. On my mind, I just beat his meat three times <laughs> three is nine. <laughs> He'd kiss his friends, sit on their laps while they're benching or working out, and this would lead to Aiden Ross eventually hanging out with big time rappers like Lil Uzi Vert, Yachty, and others. But him acting this way would bring negative attention from, from some other people across the internet. And he'd even be mentioned in a song by a young boy because of the immature way that he'd act around these rappers. At first, his antics really didn't bother anybody, and it also grew his whole entire platform to a point where he was one of the top streamers on Twitch. But this side of Aiden wouldn't last long. His negative side started to show in small doses in the beginning, but went full blown once Andrew Tate became the talk of the town. Just like Sneeko, Aiden also started to share his ideology surrounding wokeness in America and how to be an alpha male in 2022, which lasted for quite some time. And every time he'd get into a debate, he'd lose every single time. But again, this helped grow his brand. Aiden's fans are a mix of kids and teenagers. And I guarantee you, if you look in the comments of this video, you'll definitely see some of them making hate comments or just pointing out that I said something or did something wrong. But with Aiden having so many young fans, this led to a bigger concern. How impressionable Aiden could be to his adolescent fan base. We already know that Aiden Ross is extremely impressionable. We saw that in the beginning where when he would make gay jokes or act gay around his friends, and people started to like that, then he would just continue to do it every single stream. And then when Andrew Tate got a whole bunch of publicity around him and his views and ideology, then Aiden Ross just took those views and then it just went into his brain and changed his whole entire way of thinking. And with that being the case that Aiden Ross is extremely impressionable and really young, people were more concerned about how he would steer his audience of young fans and teenagers in the wrong direction. So what I'm about to say makes it all the more worse than before. Recently, I was scrolling on Twitter and saw Internet Anarchist's thread about Aiden Ross and everything he's been doing over on the streaming site Kick. During his live streams, he'll tell people to do over the top deers and in return, he'd pay them for those deers. These deers stem from peeing in a bowl and throwing it on the person's sister and smashing her TV with a bat, which later turned to the guy doing the deer, throwing a mixture of liquids onto his sister instead of pee because higher ups at kick told him that that deer and throwing pee at his sister was a bit too far, which is, you know, kick is just a bit too far in general. Aiden Ross would then tell his viewer to pepper spray himself. These deers are absolutely insane and always go way too far out of line. Internet Anarchist's thread on the situation had a lot of replies filled with people defending Aiden Ross, saying that the person he dares could always just say no, or they could just leave the call. People in the replies would also say that these dares could have also been even worse, and Aiden Ross wasn't even going that hard, and these dares weren't even that bad. Aiden Ross has money and popularity, and to have his once again young fans do these dares is just incredibly irresponsible and just a bad look on his end because not only is he bringing negative publicity to a platform that he says he likes he also is doing these crazy dares and things just for views and again he's just using his power and influence incredibly wrong now i don't know if you guys have ever watched the first spider-man but in that movie uncle ben says with great power comes great responsibility this is one of those cases that aiden should have been listening to you shouldn't dangle money in front of someone's face that doesn't have that type of income and probably would really want that money and expect them not to do those dares or go over the top in order to get that money. If you're in a situation where you don't have that income or you think that would make your life better or your family's life better, you'll do anything in your power to try to acquire that money. And if that means that you have to do some crazy out of the line dares, then you'll do it. But to say it's the person's fault for doing the dare and not Aiden's fault is insane because you are now taking the blame off of somebody who has money and has money to blow, who has power and popularity and clout and putting that blame onto somebody who probably needs that money. If you're in the same situation and Aiden told you to do something crazy over the top for 
some type of bread, then you'll do it. And it's not the person who's doing the dare's fault. It's Aiden's fault because he's dangling money in front of their face and saying, if you do this dare, you'll get this money. No matter how over the top it is, no matter how crazy or irresponsible it is, he's the one who has the money who's dangling it in front of somebody else. This whole situation reminds me of a movie called The Most Dangerous Game, where the guy who's the protagonist has to go through all of these loopholes and everything else and games just to get the money that he's been like promised. But at the end, it's literally for nothing. And the people who are giving him the money just get like a laugh out of everything that they're doing. And that's what Aiden Ross is exactly doing. That's the thing that I don't understand, like why people are defending him. Even other streamers, if you look into some of the replies, other streamers are asking what like Aiden is even doing wrong, which is just irresponsible and insanely like nuts to think that somebody would have the back of Aiden Ross, who's literally dangling $25,000 in front of somebody's face, who's something extremely crazy. It just makes no sense. And it seems like the internet just every single day gets closer to somebody doing something crazy for money like something more over the top either killing somebody or doing something crazy showcasing your viewers doing stupid and borderline abusive shit just for views is just nuts to me and it just seems like at this point aiden ross and the word controversy are actually in a relationship because you can never go or see a headline without aiden ross and controversy in the same sentence i think aiden ross has to do a lot better especially as he gets older and i'm afraid that like him showing these dares or showing people doing these dares just makes it all the more worse because what if somebody goes over the top and says like if you give me $50,000 I'll go kill somebody like it's just nuts people who are concerned about the whole situation maybe it's just our movies in our heads that we've watched just talking to us but that's what it just seems like it just seems like there is no limit to how much he can do or will do yeah you do have the higher ups at kick that say like no Aiden you can't do this you can't do that but that's only stopping him from not getting viewers or getting banned and kick is also a platform that says that you won't get banned or censored it's just nuts to me I just really don't understand it Aiden is one of the worst streamers over the past years or over the past year i thought it was worse when he went to the red pill era of aiden ross i thought it would stop there at least but it's just gotten even worse and he's showcasing ways that people can make money if they go on his live stream and you know do these crazy stupid dares and it's not a good look and it's very cringeworthy to say the least and concerning for anybody who actually has a brain that watches and looks at some of these tweets and some of these snippets just off of his live streams it's not cool it's not funny i just don't understand it and again it's just ugh. also i'd like to end this video saying that like aiden ross told somebody to go kill themselves in the middle of that stream so you know the person that is showing like a new generation of kids how to act but then the blame would be put on to the parents because they have to watch what their kid is watching instead of putting it on the person that's actually distributing the content that's just my opinion on it but thank you all for watching the video and i'll see you in the next video and I was like, no, what? I'll try it. I'll look him up. So I did. And I saw that he didn't upload for like maybe like a couple months during the summer. And I was like, maybe I'll make a video on it. And what I found within that first video is somebody that literally is a scumbag of a human being. He went to like a Make-A-Wish kid, took him to a game, told him to text him whenever he needed him, and then just ghosted him after the game.